Hi, I'm Kurt Ocean, and this is your move of the week. I'm here with Moody, and uh, today we, we're going over a, a, a loop choke from side control. So I have him in side control like this, and and what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to provoke him to go to his knees. Like if I stay here, I, I'm going to do something else. And if you guys notice, I'm center on center, and my hips are down. I don't want my knees in line with with my hips because then there's a big pocket here. You see my knees up like this? There's a big pocket and perhaps he's very flexible or whatever, good retaining guard again. So I don't want that to happen. So I stay long, I'm center on center, and I have my hand here blocking here. When I'm ready, I'm gonna come here and I go palm up with my trigger finger on his collarbone. Palm up. And this takes the cross face out, so he thinks, I'm fucking leaving, I'm gonna go to my knees. When he does that, I loop him, right? I come here, and I dive under, and I put the back of my hand behind his head. I'm gonna pull him to the bottom, and put my bottom leg out as a kickstand. I'm gonna look out underneath my arm, and then shoot this hand towards the wall, because it's kind of shaped like a shim, it goes thin to thick. I'm gonna shoot it through, then pull and finish the choke. So that's if he makes it all the way to his knees, but preferably I don't I don't let him get there. So the important thing is this hand here, trigger finger on his collarbone, and then when he comes towards me, I'm gonna flex my wrist, I'm gonna kind of move diagonal off his shoulder and open my my elbow and flex my wrist like this so that I can put him in there. And this will change into a chin whip or whatever or a guillotine when you're when you're gillis. But this is really important right here. So as he starts to turn, I loop him and then look, I go underneath his arm and move behind him. And lay my head so I can look at him strangle. And I pull and I let the fingers do the walking and once again it's acting as a shin. It's going from thin to thick. So you can induce this choke from a lot of different places. Side control is one of my favorite, but also you can do this from knee on stomach, same, same principle. So once again, hand in his collar, center on center. Look, he starts to move. I move this way, I loop him. I come this way, I go behind his head, and I keep walking this way until I'm here and then I finish the choke. Right, he can't rotate into me because he'll strangle himself and he can't rotate away from me because I have his arm. So he's kind of stuck there waiting for him, for me to choke him. And that's your move of the week. Go train.